Today we have to discuss about the topic is calcifying epithelial odontogenic tumor in cystine tumor. It is also called as pin bar tumor. The calcifying epithelial odontogenic tumor it is actually benign and odontogenic neoplasm which means it is a epithelial in origin previously we they say it is arised from the reduced and normal epithelium but actually it is arised from the stratum intermedium and dental lamina it is characterized by presence of amyloid materials that became calcified which means there is a polygonal epithelial cells are arranged in cord or sheet in appearance having amyloid dosis occur and later calcified it is previously we say it is arised from the dental lamina it is the dental lamina it is the stratum intermedium it is arised from dental lamina and stratum intermedium clinically it is occur in middle aged peoples and there is no sex predilection mandibles are mostly affected mostly posterior area particularly molar area that is three times affected more than bicuspid it is asymptomatic and painless 52 percentage cases with uninterrupted tooth at the same time it is two types one is extra osseous and another one is intra osseous the extra osseous it is rare and also occur in anterior gingival area the intra osseous is common in radiographically there is a well circumscribed unilocular radiolucency in unilocular pattern we have to see some kind of radio opaque and radiolucency in mixed pattern at the same time it is the border is scalloped and diffused border which means here is the diffused border here is the scalloped border well defined scalloped border previously we say it is a mixed uh, in unilocular pattern if it present unilocular pattern having mixed appearance that is radiolucency and radio opaque mixed in appearance which look like there is a presence of multilocular radiolucency in the unilocular pattern so it looked like honeycomb appearance and there is a the lesion may entirely radiolucence with scattered fleck of calcification in some cases it's look like dry one snow appearance this dry one snow appearance is particularly present in the coronal area if it the tooth is unerupted if the tooth is unerupted this dry one snow appearance is present in the coronal area prominently present it is associated with the impact tooth which look like dentigerous cyst the expansion and thinning of buccal and lingual bony plates on CT image. In histology, it is composed of polygonal epithelial cells are arranged in sheet or island in fibrous connective tissue. And there will be we see that intercellular bridges will be seen. And this tumor cell is well defined polygonal tumor cell. Inside the tumor cells, we have seen the Jain nuclei and my rare mitotic figures will be seen. In nuclei, there is a Jain nuclei will be seen in the tumor cell. In clear cell, there is a clear vacuolated cytoplasm, which is the clear vacuolated cytoplasm also seen in the mucoepidermoid carcinoma. In order to avoid the confusion, we have to use the music caramel stain it is negative this clear cell is a round or oval and a centrally paced nucleus there is a presence of homogeneous eosinophilic substance here we will be see the sheet shop the sheets of uh, polygonal epithelial cells have some kind of homogeneous eosinophilic 
materials this homogeneous eosinophilic materials is we can stain by using crystal violet concord theoflavin these stains are used for the amyloid amyloid stain so here we use this stain the amyloid is positive later the amyloid materials get calcified and appearance like lees gangin appearance the treatment is small intra bony is surgical eunucleation or curettage is much enough if it large or recurrence happen in this tumor the segmented resection must be done thank you